Nellie Don, self-made woman, businesswoman of Kansas City. She was an entrepreneur in many ways. Nellie Don was an innovator of business and design. It was unheard of of women to have their own business. Thankfully, her husbands were supportive of her efforts. Kansas City is also thankful for this upstart of a woman. It is estimated one out of seven women wore Nell's dresses. With Nellie Don's success, it came at a price. Nell and her chauffeur were kidnapped on December 16, 1931. U.S. Senator James Reed fought hard to find her. It's reportedly that he asked notorious crime boss to aid in her release. 34 hours later, they were freed. One year later, after the ordeal, Nell divorces Paul Donnelly, her current husband, and on December 13, 1933, marries James Reed. And they have a child together, and they named him David Reed. During the Great Depression, Nell's business thrived, and she really cared for her female employees. She provided pension plans, medical assistance, a cafeteria plan, and scholarships for her employees and their children. There was a big push for Nell's company to join the International Ladies' Garment Union, but Nell took such good care of them, they refused to join. Nell knew how to make a dress for every size woman. She had sold her business in 1956, and in 1978, it went bankrupt. Nell remained active in the Kansas City area. She was an avid outdoors woman. She donated 731 acres to the Missouri Conservation Area in honor of her late husband, named the James A. Reed Memorial Wildlife Area in Jackson County, Missouri. Nell Donnelly Reed passed on September 8, 1991, at the age of 102.